Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at an example illustrating how to verify whether a system is linear time invariant or not. Note that a system can be linear and time invariant, it can be linear and time varying, that is it is not time invariant and also a system can be non-linear and time invariant and then finally it can be non-linear and time varying. It can be any one of these four combinations. Now let us look at an example. Given the system y of t equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of t into delta of t minus n t where this delta is the unit impulse or the unit impulse signal. So given this system we want to verify whether it is linear or not and also whether it is time invariant or not. Now for checking the linearity Consider an input that has the following structure a times x1 of t, b times x2 of t. Now given this input by using equation 1 we can derive the corresponding output as the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t multiplied by the delta that is the unit impulse t delta of t minus nt. So clearly this can be rewritten as the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity a times x1 of t into the unit impulse plus b times the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x2 of t delta of t minus nt. Clearly the summations are the corresponding output. So it is a times y1 of t plus b times y2 of t. We can deduce this result by looking at the equation 1. Therefore the system is a linear system that is the linear combination a times x1 of t plus b times x2 of t will result in an output defined as a times y1 of t plus b times y2 of t where y1 of t is the corresponding output for x1 of t and y2 of t is the corresponding output for x2 of t. Therefore, the system is linear. Therefore, the equation 1, the system in equation 1 is a linear system. Now, by looking at the equation 1, by looking at the equation 1, we can also see that the definition can be rewritten as, that is y of t can also be written as equal to x of t only when t is equal to nt and 0 elsewhere. In other words, the system is basically a sampler. That is, that is, the output y of t is equal to the input x of t only at times equal to an integer multiple of the sampling period t or the value t. Now let us ver verify whether the system is inva time invariant or not. So consider an input x1 of t equal to x of t minus tau. So by using equation 1, the corresponding output y1 of t is equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x1 of t delta of t minus nt. So by using the input, we have n equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of t minus tau multiplied by delta of t minus nt. Clearly, the output y1 of t is equal to x of t minus tau only when t is equal to nt and 0 elsewhere. Therefore, whenever the time t is equal to an integer multiple of t, the output y1 of t is equal to x of t minus tau, a delayed value of the original input x of t. Now consider the output y2 of t defined as y of t minus tau. Now by using the equation 1, by using the equation 1, y of t minus tau becomes z equal to the sum n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of t minus tau multiplied by delta of t minus tau minus nt. Therefore, this signal y2 of t is equal to the delayed version x of t minus tau 
only when t minus tau is equal to nt or in other words t is equal to tau plus nt and zero elsewhere. So clearly the signal y1 of t equal to x of t minus tau when t is equal to nt is not same as y2 of t equal to x of t minus tau when t minus tau is equal to an integer multiple of t. Thus the sampler or the system in equation 1 is not a time invariant system. In other words, it is a time varying system. Therefore, equation 1 is not time invariant. Thanks for watching.